Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel Spinning Letters. So today this is a special video about me trying to make a gift for my father because he is turning 60 and it is his diamond jubilee so I decided to make a special card for him. You know this these small mom moments are the one that matter to us most. Um it's not an extravagant gift or anything. I just decided to just draw a picture and paste it on the card and paste his pictures that I took from the album and printed into the card while growing up my father used to tell a lot of stories there were a few stories he tell us under the name vedi kada it's it's all made up by him and he will just uh, you know dramatically say all those stories and we sometimes we even believed those stories when we were young he used to tell all these stories to me and my brother when there will be no current and there will be no light and fan and we will snuggle up against him and he will tell all these amazing stories when we were little me and my brother were little my father used to carry us in his shoulders and he used to say that he was the elephant and we were his travelers and he will carry each of us and then pace back and forth in the room and all that it was really very fun and memorable childhood days for us also there was a homestead near our old house and its ground was filled with beautiful green moss and it felt like a lawn uh, it really felt like a lawn and we used to play there me my brother and our cousins we all used to play there and uh, there was a funny story about that homestead that um, our father shared with us that he used to found a lot of rabbits in his younger days and we believed that and we took these little adventurous trips to that homestead uh, and in order to find a rabbit but disappointingly we never found a rabbit in our lifetime there but it was a beautiful journey you know uh, around that homestead filled with uh, you know um, rubber trees and pineapple bushes and lots of fragrant flowers uh, it was like uncovering a mystery or like that it's it was like a small treasure hunt and we used to enjoy that things a lot we used to make that that small little trips with our father it was really nice so these are all our childhood memories when we grow grew up we never got any time to rediscover that place or anything uh so when we moving when we are moving fast forward in our days we used to 
give less value to the moments that are given in our hands we uh, tend to like give less value to our present moment so to me honestly my childhood days were the best days and nothing could ever match those days so if any child or teenager is watching this please be noted that this these days you got in your hand these are the best days use use that very well never waste a single moment never be stressed out on anything enjoy your days so because when you grow up you know there are a lot of tremendous pressure that is putting upon us from everywhere so we used to struggle a bit when we are getting old so for me my child childhood days were the best with that carefree spirit and all that blunders that i made allowed my childhood so don't miss it out enjoy it guys went for vacation to our grandparents house my father's parents and our grandma used to give us all those delicious food i especially loved her boiled yam and a dip made with curd and chili it was so delicious so we happily wait for the moment to arrive at our house to relish all those things and to be with our grandparents and cousins and all also as an evening drink our grandparents always used coffee but in our house we always used tea but i loved coffee more so whenever i get a chance to drink it i will drink it and when i go to my grandparents house i always get coffee so that is that was one of my favorite reasons in my childhood to go there so i loved that coffee that my grandmother gave me with her love and all her affection towards us I used a yellow chart paper which is thick in texture to make this birthday card and I'm painting these parrots sitting in a branch in order to paste it on the front of the card as a picture and I'm going to write happy birthday on top of it and then I collected many photos of my father which covers different milestone stones in his life like him getting married he having us as children me and my brother sitting with him over different photos and and also photos of my father and mother everything so i keep it all together and going to paste inside of the card and at the last page i'm going to write an incident that happened in my life that showed his love and care for us so i'll write it i'll write that down as a thank you note and that's all so that's the content of my birthday card i hope this is going to work out fingers crossed
I'm not quite familiar with the painting techniques and all that. I even use black and white in painting also, but as a rule, it is prohibited. But I usually use that. I didn't follow any rules of painting or anything. This is just a basic painting that I really wanted to do in order to make my father happy. That's all the motive behind it. So please excuse any flaws if there is any, guys. When I was a teenager, I used to read a lot and I developed this reading habit mainly because my mother used to narrate all these stories from different storybooks like Balarama, Kalikuduka etc. when I was a little child and one day I tried reading these books by myself and sooner I learned to read and also Many books were bought by my father into the house and I looked through the pages of these books even though I might not understand everything I'll keep reading it and I guess that's a blessing for me because it developed my writing skills and my imagination a lot but nowadays I read but I didn't find that curiosity when I was little that curiosity was lost somewhere I guess that's because of this advent of technology, you know, that technology is looting our curiosity and imagination from us. We all want instant coffee, instant tea, instant food and instant videos that we tend to forget that sometimes being slow is the right reason to develop our minds. Being slow, being being reading a story very slowly and understanding the things is the thing that is going to develop us as a person so that's the main negative that technology just uh, impose upon us that negative is that we lost appreciating the slow things that's gonna happen in our life we're always for the faster things that's gonna happen faster food faster delivery faster you know faster achievements so when there is a bit of little bit of lag in our success or little bit of lag in our achievements we tend to develop depression through it we tend to develop uh, being sad because oh i'm not going to get that marks uh, this uh, this time or i'm not going to achieve this uh, deadline in this time that we are we tend to uh, go into this dark whole of depression and all but i want to say that we keep uh, don't lose our patience and don't lose our curiosity right even the tvs the television are disappearing from our life Uh, can you remember when we as a 90s kid i can remember that when i was little uh, i used to saw a movie called tinkerbell on the tv it was so beautiful that i was very much curious to know the story behind it and i keep seeing that and nowadays i think i lost that curiosity you know i lost that curiosity somewhere to know more about a movie we already know that this is gonna happen we already uh you know we already developed that sense of perception that this is gonna happen there is nothing for me to re- discover uh, about it you know so we used to you know I developed that bit, um, sense of knowledge about these 
uh, web series movies and books there are always reviews that's gonna put in the youtube about a movie and then we are going to we, then we will develop a prejudice or oh, this this review is saying like this movie is a bit lag bit lagging so i'm not going to see this and this review is saying that this movie is going to be very good then i'm going to see that so we lost that curiosity when there was no technology we were curious what's going to happen we were very much uh, have very little knowledge about things that's going to happen around us so we tend to develop a curiosity to know about it more but the uh, thing is that technology is uh, giving all those information instantly to us that we tend to de- develop less curiosity in our life so just just be a child in your heart and then uh, develop your curiosity develop your imagination and live a life like a fairy tale you know life is only once and you need to uh, enjoy it not stressing it out that's all i want to say about life you know so i am also trying to improve myself i'm going i'm also reading books and i'm trying to develop that Im- imagination there was uh, i i admit that i lost that uh, that much enthusiasm i had when i was young to read but uh, now i'm slowly developing the interest in reading you know it it is slow but i really appreciate myself for doing that um, that is also helping me a lot you know it, it helps me to write more it helps me to uh, you know develop my self confidence everything so don't you don't if you are not a reading reader then uh, develop that habit it is it is definitely going to help you in your life there is one particular incident that i wanted to add on the gift card that one day i asked my father to buy balarama balarama is a weekly publication for children and it releases on every friday and i asked him to buy it and it was night and raining heavily but he still managed to get it and when he returned to home he was soaking wet more than feeling happy i was a bit sad that he he had to tolerate all this rain for just for me and all but uh, that was him he always uh, uh, tend to uh, listen to our needs and all so i i just wanted to add that on to the card as a thank you not for him also but still he managed to chase his dreams also as being a parent he still managed to look after us and also he still managed to chase his dreams like he got 
a degree on law llb degree and he got a degree on the language malayalam pg degree on the language malayalam and all so i always look up to him as an inspiration one of the greatest blessings that i felt as being a child to my parents is that they never forced their opinions upon me they always you know give a space for me to decide what i want in my life even though i get low marks or anything they never judge me or they always want me to grow and evolve as an individual even though there were situations that they prevent me from doing but they never prevent me from choosing what to study choosing where to study or anything there will be some parenting control and all but they never you know force me to you need to take this course or you need to go in that uh, path of your education or anything it it was all up to me and it was all i learned from my decisions i learned from my mistakes and my parents made sure that I got the chance to make decisions for my life so that I felt as a great blessing being their daughter these are the pictures of him and our family that i printed from the old albums and all and i'm going to paste it on the inside of this card these were all pictures of my brother and my father my father and mother's wedding their wedding card invitation photo and also my father with me and our family photo i um, just made it all together like a little photo album inside the card
is a little thank you not for him this is about my memory about him getting balarama during rain for me at night so i really wanted to appreciate him being a father to us and him being supportive to us so i just wrote this note on the back side of the birthday card with regards from me and my brother this is the final look of his birthday card that i made so hope you all like this video if you like this video please do like share and subscribe to my channel spinning letters so thank you everyone